Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. Leading biologists estimate nearly half of the planet's species could be extinct by the end of the century unless urgent action is taken. At a major conference in the Vatican late last month, prominent biologists, ecologists, and economists aim to find a solution to save the planet's diversity. One in five species on Earth now faces extinction, and that could rise to 50% by the end of the century due to climate change, habitat destruction, and illegal trade. While we are all familiar with the concerted efforts to save pandas, tigers, and rhinos, other organisms are being overlooked. We depend on these critically endangered animals and plants for our food and medicine, water and air purification, and other ecosystem services. A new report by the World Health Organization suggests that Stockholm is one of the cleanest capital cities on the planet. The Swedish city's annual PM2.5 level is 6 micrograms per cubic meter, which is the joint lowest for any capital city alongside Wellington, New Zealand. Stockholm has also been designated a smart city by the EU for its eco-friendly initiatives, which include biofuels, an underground vacuum system for garbage, eco-districts, and a recycled heating system. In addition, it hopes to be fossil fuel free by 2040. So far this year, electric and hybrid cars represented half of all new registrations in Norway. Norway already has the highest per capita number of all electric cars in the world, selling its 100,000th electric car in December, and continues its trend to becoming one of the most ecologically progressive countries in the world. In addition, last year, the Norwegian government agreed on a proposal to ban the sale of gasoline and diesel-powered vehicles starting in 2025. The U.S. certainly has much catching up to do. According to a new Bloomberg report, President Trump is set to sign an order to greatly reduce the role climate change plays in decision-making across the U.S. government. It will show the president is keeping his promises and do exactly what he said he was going to do when he ran for office, and it eliminates programs that simply don't work. The order, which could be signed as soon as next week, aims to reverse former President Obama's climate change initiatives, primarily the Clean Power Plan, which requires states to slash carbon emissions. In addition, Trump's first budget cut proposal would cut the EPA by $2.6 billion and cut 3,200 jobs. Mr. Speaker, today is a very historic day for Whanganui Iwi. Last week, New Zealand's government granted the Whanganui River the same legal rights as a human being. The parliamentary vote came after 140 years of legal struggles and marks a monumental victory for the local Maori people, who view the river as an indivisible and living whole. This means that if someone harmed the river, the law sees no differentiation between harming the tribe or harming the river because they are one and the same. This legislation is a triumph for the indigenous people as it recognizes their worldview and the deep spiritual connection between the tribe and its ancestral river. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.